Okay, so before delving into code, we'll be inspecting our IFC file through the user interface first. Pressing A to select all objects in the scene, let's now press X to delete these objects. On the right hand side here, we have access to the properties panel. With the scene properties, we can go to IFC project and click on load project. Once we've located our file, let's go ahead and load it into our scene. So in the middle here, we have our 3D viewport and we can see on the right hand side that we have our IFC spatial hierarchy showing us all the elements contained within our file or nearly. There is a lot more IFC data you can find in your scene properties. But we'll look into that further down the course. Now let's go over some basic navigation tools. Selecting everything with A, you can hide these elements using H. Pressing Alt-H will show the hidden elements. Selecting an object is done by clicking on it in the 3D viewport and pressing dot will zoom on your selection. To isolate your selection, simply press dash. To bring the previous view back, press dash again. Rotating is done by clicking on the middle mouse button and moving your mouse. In order to pan, you need to click shift plus left click. Pressing shift and tilde will allow you to activate the first person shooter view. And that's about it for navigation. If you'd like to see more information for selected objects, it is under the object properties panel, where you can find the IFC class, its attributes, you can find the construction type, the spatial container, the materials, if this object aggregates anything else, if it has any voids, you can find property sets and also quantity sets.